gentlemen of Bungle. Hope you're doing well and I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going over the city war two free to play first person shooter. Much requested. Let's talk about Hey Bungle, review the Panzer 3N and the Battle Tunisia Battle Tunisia campaign. Now if you're watching this video, first time viewer, possibly first time subscriber, maybe you're wondering, Bungle, what do you do here? Well I'll give you an overview, kind of telling you what are we reviewing today. Next I'll talk about the performance. Is it good? Is it bad? And lastly, is it worth it? So without further ado, let's begin to start off with an overview. All right, so this premium tank is not available on the enlisted store. You're going to have to go to the logistics tab for the Battle Tunisia Battle Tunisia for the access. You will see this vehicle there for 4,900 enlisted gold. Best practices here is just to go and buy the $50 bundle of enlisted gold. You go pick that up and you can go redeem and get this premium a tank. Now moving down to its performance, really the real question here is how does this tank perform in the Battle Tunisia Battle Tunisia? Well, the primary armament of this tank is a short barrel 75 millimeter gun. One of the things I noticed with the 75 millimeter gun is that it has armored piercing ballistic cap rounds and it has high explosive. The high explosive rounds will devastate infantry no problem. This tank is an infantry killer. It also has the capabilities of going through lightly armored vehicles such as the A13 and the Damir armored car. Now keep in mind when facing Grants, facing Crusaders and even facing a Sherman if you see them, is that you're not gonna use high explosive against these tanks. Generally a Crusader you will penetrate through the front no problem with the armor piercing around. Now when you're facing Grants and you're facing Shermans, the best way to kind of counter these tanks, especially the Grant, is to rush these tanks and go get a side shot on them and take them out. That's the only way to really do it. If you're going to try to frontally engage a Grant or a Sherman, you will lose. The armor on your tank is decent. It's not great, but it's not terrible. It has the potential of deflecting rounds or having shots penetrate with no damage. But keep in mind, however, you want to use that mobility and kind of that trolley armor you got to go and get some side shots, especially on a Grand. The Grand is so slow, it's going to lumber. By the time you get to the side shot, it's going to be struggling to try to traverse around you and you'll be able to take it out, no problem. The Shermans are rare to find on the battlefield of Tunisia, Tunisia right now. If you do find a Sherman, that's going to be the way to kind of deal with it or just withdraw from the battlefield so it doesn't keep engaging you. You can't really penetrate a Sherman frontally because a Sherman has kind of decent armor, especially frontally, for you to go and kind of have your shot just bounce off again. Now, also another thing to keep in mind too is that the 7.62 millimeter pill actual machine gun in your turret is good for crowd control with infantry. I find it to be very useful. Now moving down to is it worth it? In my opinion, this is a must. If you're going to play Tunisia and you really, really are interested in grinding for, let's say, the Panzer IV F2, you're going to have to realize that a lot of the starter vehicles, the tanks, like the M13, uh, 42, whatever, the Italian tanks, those aren't really good. And the best tank that you can get, really, is the best method, is to get to level two of your tanker class, which is about level 18, level 15, around that ballpark in the campaign level, and then go and redeem a gold order for the Panzer 3J. The problem with the Panzer 3J is that it's very slow, the turn traverse is kind of garbage. Um, it has a 50 millimeter cannon, so it's okay. It's not great, it's not terrible, it's just a decent upgrade compared to all the other stuff that you're going to have. Comparing other premiums to the M13 premium, with its 45 millimeter short barrel gun isn't that good either. It has no armor, it's very slow. It can get taken out pretty much by A13s, by the meal armor cars, by basically anything that the Allies have. So it's very slow to use. The Panzer 3N, in my opinion, highlights the key issue here with the Tunisia, with the Battle Tunisia for the Axis, and that is not having a good tank. Pretty much, in my opinion, if you want to go and grind this campaign and have no frustration and kind of have an easier experience, you're going to have to go and pick up the Panzer 3M. There really is no premium out there besides the radio operator squad that's going to be that good for value, especially for grinding. Honestly, this with the radio operator squad is definitely going to be a very, very good lineup to use. And then you can probably throw in there the nine man trooper squad and just keep rotating those soldiers out and you'll be able to kind of have an enjoyable grinding experience. But pretty much for tanks, because tanks really do factor into that grind and helping you gain a lot of campaign levels and etc is that the Panzer 3N is pretty much the tank you're going to need to get before you get the Panzer 4F2. If you want to have an enjoyable grinding experience, 
you're going to have to go and pick up the Panzer 3 n The Panzer 3 n in my opinion, is a great tank. It really is, it's decent. Sure, the threats of Grants and, you know, Sherman's being out there, but in my opinion, one, if you see a Grant, they're very slow, so you can either withdraw from the battlefield or just bull rush them and take them out. Uh, same with Sherman's. Uh, Sherman's pretty much you can withdraw from that engagement and not really have them waste their time trying to hunt you down or whatever while you're picking off infantry. That's my ways of handling it. Honestly, those vehicles, those threats aren't as prevalent in my opinion as let's say being an Allied soldier getting the M24 Chaffee and trying to play that in the Invasion of Normandy campaign when you're facing consistently against Panthers and Tigers. So in Tunisia right now, from my experience, the Panzer 3N is a great premium. The Grant and the Sherman, sure, they may pose a threat, but honestly, they can kind of be dealt with and you can kind of take your stupid out and revenge kill them and they kill you. But that's my two cents. Highly, highly recommend picking up this premium if you intend to play Axis, if you intend to grind for the Panzer 4F2, this is what I am using right now to currently grind for that vehicle. Other than that, I've reached this point of the video, new viewer, possible new subscriber. I hope today is the day that I earn your subscription, time your sub, and mash that like button. It does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Return your sub, returning viewer, let me know your thoughts. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day. Take care.